for too long. I've been promising a video going through my complete 56 tops baseball set. So we're going to do that today. Um, about anywhere from like maybe 15 to 18% of it is graded. Um, and then the rest of it, I had started all the key cards, except a couple are graded. And I'm trying to get the set in PSA 3 or higher. And uh, I had started grading a ton of the commons to get the whole thing eventually, maybe in four or five years, completely graded, just doing it in bits. But with the until the prices come back down, I kind of have put a hold on that. I really wanted to someday get this completely graded. But maybe it's just, maybe it's not in my budget and I eventually someday sell it as is. But uh, we're going to go through them. I kind of reorganize them. I'm going to be putting them back into another box. So I figured I'll try to go through these as quick as possible. Stop on some of the highlights. Um, the raw cards, um, some I have duplicates, um, but at least one of the duplicates or most of the raw cards should get roughly three or four or better. Um, I've done some reveals recently where they've actually done pretty darn good where I've gotten some uh, sixes and sevens and eights out of the commons, the raw commons. So uh, we will go through these starting with the last card and moving forward. So I'm going to start and run through these. Uh, last card of the set, I had gotten one graded that came out low, so I went on eBay and just bought um, bought one. I think this one. I don't know. Or I got this graded. One of the two. Um, Mickey D McDermott, card 340, last card of the set. I have a five. I'm trying to do the whole thing in PSA just because um, that's what I've always graded with. And um, oh yeah, this this is why it came back as uh, miscut. So this is the one I sent graded to get graded. Came back miscut, so I bought a uh, last card of the set off eBay. So this is the other McDermott. Um, I, I kept all the doubles and triples together just so, you know, down the road if I needed to kind of decide which ones keep the set. Um, but, you know, a lot of people like uniformity, and since most of my stuff is already PSA graded, I just was going to continue through and grade the whole thing PSA. Um... I do have one or two of these that are SGC graded that I'll cross over eventually. Here's a uh, card 339, so we're just going to work backwards in card number uh, 338. So you can see most of the ungraded stuff is in decent shape and it's worth grading. So um, card 337. Three thirty-six. Trying to do as little glare as possible. There we go. Three thirty-five. Such a iconic set. So I, you know, I hope I can get it completely great. This one I have two of them. This one I think I pulled out of one of my Christmas rack packs, and this is a, you know, definitely an upgrade to the one I already had. So this is the one I'd send to get graded, and then eventually sell the raw that I don't get graded. 334, 333, Don Larson, graded, number 334, I got a 7 on this, I think this was in a recent PSA reveal, I was real happy with this, 332, card 331, Three thirty, a little off center, but should get you know. I figure at least a four out of this, so I'd be happy. I mean, maybe someday if I, because I have quite a few five through sevens. I mean, maybe I bump up my minimum to like a uh, four or five, and just upgrade the ones that I have in threes or fours. Um, that's just on the uh, plastic. This card three twenty nine. Three twenty-eight. Some of these holders are are old. That's why the coloring is cruddy. Three twenty-seven. Most of these have pretty darn clean backs. That tape is just on the holder. And just common, but it got a seven. Three twenty-seven. Oh, that's the same one I just showed you in raw. So yep, yeah, I got. A raw and a, so here's 326, 
325 is graded. It's uh, Don Little. This one I just pulled out of my last video in a Christmas rack. Um, both of them are kind of equally off center, so you can see so some some cards just the way they were cut. Most examples, it's hard to get higher grades, so I'm gonna have to decide which of these. This might be the nicer one that I just pulled out of the Christmas rack, but uh, Rocky Bridges, card 324, got two raw of those. 323. 324. Oh, no, other way, 322. All right, if I butcher the numbers, I won't know until I rewatch this before I publish it, so I'm sorry. I gotta learn to count backwards, huh? 321. And 320 is another graded one. It is Joe Adcock. Got a six. That's, that's not bad. And 319, I have duplicates. This one I pulled out of a Christmas rack. You can see it's definitely an upgrade from the one I had. So this is the one I would get graded. Um, and going for, in the lower number series, the white back and the dark, the gray back, I'll be happy with just one of each. I mean, some I have both versions, but I'm just gonna go, you know, one through 340 with the checklists as, you know, calling it in my book complete enough for me. Uh, 318, I have a couple of these, no. 317. 316 is graded. It's Jerry Coleman in a 8. Wow. So you can see some of these raw just really, really came back nice. 315. Milt Bowling. 314. So this is going to be a boring video for most out there, but for vintage set builders, they might, you know, like to see the, like to see this, share this with you. 313. 312 is graded. And a Pafco and a 7. 311. 310. 309, 308, 307 is graded, Hoyt Wilhelm, uh, 6, 306, this one I need to, I probably need to upgrade. This might only get a, well, it could get a three, but um, I haven't been buying already graded on eBay because even though I picked up a few that way, those prices, because it's so hard to get stuff graded right now, um, you know, they're anywhere from 15 to $35 for some of these graded and, you know, even fours. I just can't, you know, I can't afford to buy all those. What do we got here? We got 305, Brooks Lawrence and a seven, beautiful card. 304, 303, that one's pretty sharp, 302, some of these are flipped around because I have them sitting like this with the top of the the open part of the top loader up top and so when I, I bought a lot of these uh raw from somebody like four years ago and he had them all which way and another and i just i haven't taken a lot of these out of their cases so um so some of them are kind of flipped an odd way but i just want to keep them where the opening is facing up 301 300 It's one of the most gorgeous sets ever, in my opinion. Um, 56 tops, three, uh, 
297 is graded. It is Bob Skinner in a four. So this one came out low, but still right now it's within my criteria of trying to get this set three or higher. Uh, 296, I have two of these. Um, this one, it's in a um, card saver one base. I know it's a something I pulled out of a Christmas rack myself. So a little bit of an upgrade to the one I already had. So I have two of these guys. And 295. 294. I have uh, two 293s. I think both of these I pulled out of Christmas racks. So they're both pretty sharp. 292. Aparicio rookie. Hey, look at that. So this is the only Hall of Fame rookie in this whole set. Pretty crazy, but it's still very desirable. A lot of second and third year cards of Hall of Famers in it. Uh, what are we at? We're at 291. Two ninety, two eighty nine. Nope, only have one of those. Two eighty eight, two eighty seven. Eighty six, two eighty five. It is uh, Eddie Mixis. There's uh, just something from wherever the guy must have bought it from that I bought it from. Um, little sticker. Oh, actually, I have two of those, so that's why I didn't care about that. There's the other one of that, the Mixis. So that one got a seven, and I just kept this just because. Uh, I never get rid of anything. 284. I'm going to pick up the pace a little bit through these ungraded commons. 283. 282. I have a raw and a graded in a five and a half of Warren Hacker. There's the two Warren Hackers. 281. 280 is graded. Jim Gilliam in a seven. Two seventy nine. Two seventy eight. Two seventy seven. Two seventy six. That I need to upgrade. This is the only two seventy six I have. Um, it's going to get a miscut, so if I get it graded, so I wouldn't send that. I might just buy one already graded. Uh, 275. It's a funny name, Jim Greengrass. <laughs> and 274. 273. 272. This one I have two of also. That one's much sharper. 271. That one again, I'm going to have to get an upgrade. So a few of these definitely I don't have. Mine aren't worth grading. I'm just going to have to uh, buy one already graded. 270. 269 is graded. In an 8. Wow. Two, yeah, 269, 268, 267, 266 is, actually I have two of them, 266, I have three of them, all right, so I have the raw, which is a nice shape, I have a six, and I have a SGC five, so I really should just put this on eBay, sell the five, I don't need, I don't need 
I don't need it, so I should sell it. Uh, 260, that was 266, 265, 264 is graded. A nice solid five. 263, 262, that one I'm going to have to upgrade, I mean it could get a 3 or 4 with that centering, so, 261, 260 is graded, Pee Wee Reese, in a 6, man I was pleased with this, legendary player, in a 6, 259, 258, 257, 256, 255, needs to be upgraded, it's a very miscut, 254, 253, 252, 251 is graded, Yankees team in a four, 250, Larry Doby in a beautiful six, 249, 248, 247, 246, 245, I got two of them, 244, 243, graded 5, 242, 241, 240, Whitey Ford in a three, 239, 238, 237, 236, A's team. 235, Don Newcomb, that's the one I just pulled out of the last video, out of a Christmas rack, so a little bit of an upgrade to the one I had, 234, I had a note of a crease so I didn't get this one graded, I'll have to upgrade it, um, 233, SGC graded, 232, 231, two of those, 230, 220, I don't want to put these in upside down, 229, 228, Mickey Vernon, 227, 226, Giants team, 225, 224, 223, 222, 221, 220, 219, 218 is graded, Joe Nuxall, a 6, 217, 216, I got two of these. This one I just pulled in my last video. 
to 15. We did a nice six to 14 to 13 Tigers team to 12 to 11 to 10 to 09 208. That's why I made a note. Uh, pen on back, so I did not get it graded, but I went and bought a. Uh, had to pay a decent amount. Uh, it's off center, pretty much a lot one way, but still got a five. So I did, and I think this is a short print, so I kind of had to overpay for that on uh, eBay. 207, 206. 205, 204, 203. So this video is going to run long, so I'm just going to run through the highlights here of the graded stuff. So 200, it's Bob Feller in a five and a half. And because we know what card we're all wanting to see. Everyone see the mantle. There's graded Kel in a five. And that was card number 195. So we're just working our way backwards. As I said, I don't want this to get past like 30, 31 minutes. Carl Ferrillo in a five. Card 190. Card 188 is graded. A six and a half. The White Sox team. Down to card 181, Billy Martin in a three, 180, Robin Roberts in a five. And this one I have flipped around just so I know I need to upgrade it. It's graded, but my uh, Hank Bauer only got a two. So I do need to get another one of this. I did send this to get graded and somehow it got a two. So I have it flipped backwards in my stack just so I know it needs to get upgraded and now we have 170 Bill Verdon in a seven and the rest in this stack are raw and then we have 148 Alvin Dark in a six and the rest of, nope, we got one graded hiding in here too. Card Gil Hodges in a four, card 145. And the rest of that stack is raw. There it is. 135, Mr. Mantle in a five. Pretty awesome. Pretty darn awesome. I think that's the highlight of the set. 134 is the Cardinals graded in a 7. And my Willie Mays. I have other graded ones, but there's just kind of a placeholder in here. An ungraded Willie Mays number 130. So now we're getting into some of, some of the big names seem to be in the lower series of these. Mini Minoso in a 4. Card 125, and 118, Nelly Fox in a 7, that's a cool shot, or drawing, or whatever you want to call it, card 110 is graded, it is Yogi Berra in a 5, wow, <laughs> that's cool, sometimes, I mean, I forgot some of these grades that I have. Some more raw. We have uh, Campanella's raw card 101. Uh, card 100 in a five, the Orioles team. And all the same thing with all the team name variations. I'll be happy with just, you know, one version I'm happy with. I don't need to get every version of every card. Uh, number 99 in a seven, Don Zimmer. I mean, you know, the, the master, master set builder, you know, 
above just the basic would do all that, but I just, you know, I don't have the resources or to do that. So card 90 is the reds, red legs, and a four. And next graded one is a card 81 of Wally Westlake and a seven. Next graded one, Gus Triandos, Triandos in a six, card 80. So, hope you enjoyed some of this video. I know it's long, just looking at cards. Koufax and a four, card 79. But I love this set. I never get tired of looking at it. I feel lucky to have it. I mean, my next complete set, my next oldest is my 71 set. So, I have nothing else complete from the 50s or 60s. Uh, Chuck Stobbs and a seven, card 68. And again, here's where you get the variations. So this one's a white back, Roger Craig in a seven, card 63. But again, like I said, I can't afford to get all variations of all cards. We have Scouron in a SGC 50, card um, 61. And that one I would need to either cross over or get another. All right, now we're gonna flip my box around to get these stacked. This way, here we got uh, Duke Moss in a six, card uh, 57. And the rest of that stack is raw. Quite a few graded in this stack, I think, yep. We have Art Fowler in a four, card 47. So we're getting near the, near the end here. Oh, there's another out art feller. There's another one. So I have a seven and a four. Yes, I need to sell the four. Why not? Why didn't I? I don't know. Uh, card 45, Gus O'Neill and an eight. Wow. Man, something that old, that high grade is pretty cool. Uh, Ray Moore, card 43 and a six. And some more raw. And another graded card, 37, Alex Grammis in a seven. So I'm excited about some of my common raws. They should grade pretty well too. Uh, Al Rosen in a five, card 35. Here's an ungraded Clemente, card 33. Um, next graded one, Hank Aaron in a three. I do have some higher than this, so. This is just, again, a placeholder right here. I have my nicer ones on display. Uh, card 31, Hank Aaron. Uh, ungraded Jackie Robinson. I do have, uh, let's see, I have one up on a display, I think, somewhere up there. Um, I think in a three, so a little better than this. This might not get two because of how off-cut it is there. So that's card 30, raw Jackie Robinson. Some more raw. Uh, a raw K-line, but I do have a nice graded in a 5.5. Card 20. Graded card 19, Chuck Deering in a 5. More raw. And the last stack. Raw Banks. And some more raw. Card 10, Warren Spawn, and a beautiful six and a half. Card 10, and some more raw, some more raw, some more raw. So I had this uh, SGC4, card number five, Ted Williams, or SGC50, very good, excellent four. I had another one I sent in, but it only got a two and a half. So I'll probably have to then uh, cross over this because I'd like to get minimum, like I said, a three. So card number five, I have a couple of those graded. And on down, I do need to either get these graded or upgrade them. Um, the card shop does have this one in really nice shape. I gotta go pick up from him. And the checklists, um, series two, four, I bought off eBay in a four. Um, it was pretty darn expensive. And then very excited when I sent this away to get graded, I cracked this out of a Christmas rack and series one, three, 
got a seven and sometimes unmarked and such high grade for a checklist this darn thing goes for four figures which is insane for a checklist but so this checklist got a seven so um that is my complete 1956 set i appreciate everybody uh looking through it with me i did have to fly through it at the end so this didn't get too long but um i uh you know hope you enjoyed it thank you